Hi everyone, in this video I'm showing you how to uninstall or remove Ubuntu from your computer and go back to Windows 7. Now I get asked this question quite a bit and it's taken me a while to get around to doing this tutorial. It's fairly easy to remove Ubuntu from the computer as long as you do it the right way. Because what you're aiming to do is to remove this grub bootloader from your system but simply removing the partition that Ubuntu is installed on will mess up your computer spectacularly and it becomes quite difficult to repair. So let's not go down that route, I'll show you how to do it from Windows 7. Now what you need is the original Windows 7 install disk. Well I suppose a lot of the times now the OEMs pack a recovery partition onto your computer. I'm not sure what tools are loaded in there because I've not bought a Windows 7 OEM computer yet. But okay, if you don't have the original install disk, what you can do is in Windows 7, you open up the start menu and type in system repair disk or create a system repair disk. But to do this you'll need a CD or DVD burner. Again, that's, I suppose that's fine for desktop and laptops. Netbooks though, well, you can't do it this way. I'll show you a method that will work for netbooks in a future video. Okay, so for now we'll go with either a system repair disk or the original Windows 7 install disk. Just shut the computer down and we need to boot into that disk. So here's one I loaded earlier. So we'll just start that up. Yes, we want to boot it from the CD or DVD. Right, I'll just choose language. And we'll go for the option to repair your computer. So it's searching for Windows installations. So this is what I'm on about next. We need to choose the OS to repair. We'll select the OS to repair. Right, so we'll go for that. We want the Windows 7. Just go for next. And we're going to go straight into a command prompt. Now we need to type in boot rec forward slash fix boot. And then boot rec forward slash fix mbr. And just those two commands there, that's all you need. And then just press the shutdown button. Right, let's load up this operating system again. I just need to go into my settings and make sure I don't boot into the Windows 7 ISO. So I just need to eject that. Of course on a real system that's equivalent to ejecting the CD or DVD from the drive. So let's power the computer back up. And you'll see we're booting straight into Windows. We no longer have the grub partition. So what we need to do next is to resize the hard drive. So I opened up the start menu and we'll start typing in partitions. So create and format hard disk partitions. If I want to go and remove all the Ubuntu partitions, so just right click on it, go delete volume, uh, yes, whatever. Same for that one as well, delete volume, yes. And then right click just at the top of this partition and then go delete partition. This is an extended partition, this partition will become inaccessible if you delete it. So yes, we do want to do that. Then right click on your C drive, and we want to go for extend volume. So we've got the extend volume with wizard, so next. Uh, I think we just go for next because we're going to resize it and make it take up all available space. That's it, finished. I think actually you can just close and it's automatically done it. So we're just going to Windows Explorer and double check. So properties, it has indeed increased the maximum capacity. So there we are, that, that is how you uninstall Ubuntu from your computer and go back to Windows 7. So, thanks for watching, see you later.